Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My, I've got my lovely wife with me. Um, if you've watched uh, my earlier video uh, on that, as I said, I'm going to be doing vape reviews and vape maintenance videos. Um, so today it's about a nice MTL kit that I was gifted by a very good friend of ours, which is the new, well, I don't know if it's new, but it's uh, Inican ZBIP which is a very funky pearlescent MTL kit um, it's got a couple of cores, it's got an MTL kit which is 0.6 ohm and, I think, and it's got a proper MTL coil which is a 1.4 ohm it's got a 1500, amp, 1500 milliamp built in battery uh, it's got some quite funky settings though. it's got three power settings which is all selected off the power button uh, it's also got a beeping technology it's also got a beeping technology um, which tells you like when it's fully charged or when it's dying um, but that is that that setting is also you can also turn it off at the bottom there's like a little pull down switch on the bottom which is so you can turn it on and off um, it's quite different funky to be fair it's got a twist top cap filler top cap you just literally that's how it should be and then twist to fill it and there's like a little white bong which you can see on the camera which is where you fill it up um, and then if you pull the pod out or the cartridge that's the coil and the mouthpiece and the big silver thing on the bottom is your airflow to adjust your airflow for your, for your hits um, as you just heard it beeps when you put the cartridge back in uh, it's quite a nice piece of kit actually it vapes very well I'm currently using a 11 milligram uh, black current menthol salt from crazy salt in it uh, tastes really well decent cloud so yeah all, all, all in all quite another quite a nice kit um in the can haven't made very many i think this is one or one of their first pockets they've made some pens mtl pens which have took off a little bit but then they've jumped into the actual mtl um mouth the lung kits at pod system which I think everybody else is getting into now. Um, so yeah, it's quite a good comparison to my other one, which is an Orchitol Bison. That very similar to a bit, obviously, a bit smaller comes with a lanyard. Got a decent. It's much smaller, to be fair. Yeah, it's, it's, size, it's got a lot size of weight. comparison. <laughs> size comparison for the pair of you, for everybody watching. Um, yeah, as you can see. It's also much heavier as well. So. Um, whereas the good things on this one is it's got a screen so it will tell you how much percentage it's got so it's got a little screen and then it obviously if you click it you can change the watts on it change the watts. it's got a, a difference in the top fill system so you unscrew the little filler screw to fill it up and then when you change your pod after the pods dead 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 and done just pull it out and there you go there's the pod but yeah that's not a bad little kit comes with a lanyard I think it's a thousand um, thousand milliamp built in battery. They both charge via just a standard USB cable. Um, so yeah, the, the Bison, Orcatel Bison is very good as well. Great for salt and for higher VG liquid. Um, I'm currently running Wickliffe Boulevard shattered, shattered in it on a 0.6 ohm core, but it does, it does have a 1.4 ohm MTL core for your salt. But the salts work very well in this on the 0.6. Um, yeah, the battery life on this is quite good. Um, had it charged and I've been using it all day. It's on forty six percent on a point six ohm core, which it's good for sort of a, a going out yeah, mod. Yeah, so if got, you go for like nights out or something yeah. like that, then it's really good for that. And I don't know what you just dropped. I haven't dropped that. Uh, so yeah, so the the Inikin one is quite it is quite big and bulky. So if you if you're into pods but you don't want to take it out, then that's fair enough. You can have it at home. Whereas that one, it's nice, it's little, it's small, it it's very very light. And it comes with a lanyard. So it can just be around your neck if you're driving or anything like that. So you're not sat there faffing with things and fumbling with with all sorts trying to find it. So you're less likely to cause a crash. So yeah, um, out of a pair of them. Um, to be honest, uh, for going out and about, if you go shopping and stuff, um, I prefer the Orcatel Bison, just the size and the ease of use of the lanyard. But at home, if you turn at home and you know you got a nice casual night in, the Zebbip's nice. It the flavour, 
it's bulky, but some people like the bigger bulk so they know it's in their hand and it's in their pocket if they're using it. Um, so yeah, um, to go back on also the other part about maintenance, there isn't much maintenance you can do with an MTL kit because it's just generally the pod dies, you just change the pod or in other MTL kits if they have coils like a smock Nord has a coil which you just change coil on, on, on like other MTL kits which have a pod sit like a full pod system which you just bin the pod and you put a new pod in. Um so yeah, it's just basically there isn't much maintenance really, is there? Unless you lose things, but that's down um, to your own fault. Occasionally you might get um some pods so I I know personally the Nord it sometimes leaks, so it's not always the fact it leaks, it might be the fact that there's just Oh, extra yeah. reg residue or anything like that um so with that obviously we'll do another video on that eventually but um with like the anakin and that i've not known it to to leak they we've had it a that. couple of days neither mm -hmm. just the bison but, um but if they do leak just get yourself cotton bud and just clean out the inside the reason i think the bison and the anakin don't leak is because it's a the, the coil is actually contained in the pod and like the node where the part the coil is like removable um so obviously you've got o-rings and like different things like that to deal with like the liquid where if it's a contained a contained pod system there isn't any o-rings because the coil is actually manufactured into the pod so there is no reason for it to leak so yeah um what else is there i was gonna put that salt no no, no i was gonna pause it no, it's okay um salt um sorry Um, yeah, on about salts for an MTL kit, um, they range really, um, it depends on if you're, if you, if you're trying to quit smoking, then, um, 20 milligram salts is the ideal one because it gives you a better nicotine hit and then you can reduce it down to, is it 10? Most of, most of the manufacturers Mo make most, 10. Yeah, most manufacturers are, are at 10. 10, 10 and 20, 20 but... You um, do get the rare. Like the, like the crazy salts that we vape on, they come in 11 and 20. But that's I think that's because... Down to manufacturers. Uh, yeah, I choice. think... Um, but yeah, the 20 milligram gives you that... Gives you that nicotine hit that a cigarette would give you. But obviously you don't need as many because it's higher concentrated nicotine. And then once you've weaned your way off the cigarettes and then the 20 milligram might become a little bit too much you you can you have that option to drop to 10 milligrams as i said some companies don't make 10s at all they just make 20s but which is i think i think that's a pain because yeah. obviously if you're trying to cut down and you think oh 20 is still like grants just said 20 is too high then you haven't got that option even if you like that flavor Flavoured. you like that make yeah. you like the brand everything if you haven't got that that ten or eleven milligram, depending on if you're crazy salt, um, then yeah. you haven't got that option. That, You've now got to go out and find yourself a new flavour, which is yeah. which is a pain in the ass. And if you find the new, or if you don't find a new flavour, and you find another brand that does the flavour you like, that flavour might not be the same as the original salt because recipes are different, and of course people make them all differently. So it is a bit of a struggle, but MTL kits definitely the way to go to get yourself off cigarettes. Unlike the kit that my wife is currently vaping on, which it, it, there is research into it that it will help people quit cigarettes, but it takes a, it takes a lot longer because you have to use higher nicotine ratios in higher VG PG liquid, and then not just that as well is it um you've got to be really really committed to quitting smoking, smoking. haven't you? Whereas yeah. the Nick Salt it helps you to get that nicotine, nicotine hit. hit. But obviously, you get some form of nicotine hit off a sub ohm, but MTL kits are yeah. more likely to help you get off them, help you quit, that sort of thing. And the other pain in trying to use a sub ohm tank to quit smoking is you then have to mix your own nicotine amount, where a, a, a salt is 20 milligrams, 10 or 11 milligrams, so it's preset there, they've been researched, that's what a cigarette is giving out where if you bought, you go to a shop and buy yourself a premium liquid and you want to and you're trying to quit bags the amount of nick shots or nick salts you'd have to put in that would either completely ruin the taste especially if you're trying to put something like 11 10 
20 milligram of nicotine, it would co probably completely ruin the taste of it. Nick's Alts have been created with the nicotine concentrate. But as well as would, flavour. As well as the flavour, so it doesn't ruin the flavour you're getting, but you it doesn't ruin the nicotine hit where if you tried to get the same thing from a higher VG liquid, it would probably, A, it wouldn't taste very nice, B, the nicotine concentrate in it would probably it'd probably give you nicotine rush and also and it, maybe nicotine poisoning yeah, nicotine to be honest because that is that is known to happen sorry i shut the camera and it also probably wouldn't do much for your your coil in your tank because the nicotine like the amount of nick shots and nicotine or nic nicotine shots or nick salts you'd have to put in it it would probably destroy the cotton in the coil so you'd be going through coils maybe you'd probably be going for a coil one a day you're probably going for like one every two days, something like that, depending on A, the liquid, and B, the type of tank you've got, because some tank manufacturers' coils are a bit harder wearing than others. So, for quitting, people out there who are trying to quit smoking, definitely, pod system and salts. And if, if and anybody else out there who's on salts and on a pod system that is trying to cut the nicotine down even lower, then yeah, uh, and then a sub ohm tank with three milligram, six milligram nicotine would probably help you. But with with sub ohm tanks as well, um, if you do add if you do add nicotine to it, you can make it up to in, if you if say a six too high but a three is too low, you can add an extra one uh, an extra half, and that makes it to a four point five milligram nicotine instead. So there is a lot of options, but if you are trying to get off cigarettes, yeah. an MTL kit is is sort of your go-to go to but then you can also get as we've said different tank, uh, different pod mods with different coils so like the nord the bison uh the inner kit any, any pod kit really ha will have yeah it'll any. have the it'll have the secondary coil which is the the mesh sub ohm coil, mesh sub ohm coil and going on that if you bought a device for, uh, for get quitting fags and you're coming off fags and you you're like well 20 milligram, 10 milligram is too much. You don't have to go and buy a sub ohm tank. You can literally just go buy the mesh coils for your pocket and use your high VG liquid, which is what the mesh coils are built for. So you've still got one device, two different coils, and you can use two different types of liquid. So you haven't got a fork out for a, a, a big box mod and a sub ohm tank. You've got it all in a built in MTL kit. It's just you've got to go buy the, co the different coils for it for the different applications that you use it for. So yeah, guys, um, that's all I'll do today for this. If you'd like to subscribe and like my page, and also, if you're also interested in I don't know, other general conversations, maybe general vape conversations, or if you're interested in the women on who might watch this video, if you're interested in makeup stuff, hit my wife's YouTube channel up. Um, she's been going a lot longer than I have, so there is like random videos on there of just general talk, makeup talk general life aspects and there is a little bit of vaping in there so yeah hit my wife's youtube channel up as well and i'll see you a lot later